Dementia is one of the biggest health challenges that we face as a society in the UK but also across the world. Current treatments for Alzheimer's disease, which is one of the leading causes of dementia, only really target the symptoms of the disease. What we want to see are treatments and drugs that actually tackle this disease. There are a number of drugs for Alzheimer's disease in the later stage of clinical trials, but of course there will be a number of challenges that we'll have to overcome in order to get that treatment to patients. First of all, the regulators would have to look at the safety of the drug and approve it for use in the UK. Then the National Institute for Clinical Excellence, or NICE, would have to assess the cost effectiveness to ensure the NHS could afford to pay for it. And finally, we'd have to make sure that the health system, the NHS, was set up to deliver that treatment to patients. If a new treatment comes out to help with dementia, whilst on the one hand we'd be absolutely delighted, we'd all welcome that, the fear is the system would be completely overwhelmed because everybody who's out there with a diagnosis and everyone who's got a loved one with a diagnosis of any sort of dementia would be flooding to the doctors wanting access to it. We are going to be dealing with more complicated, expensive drugs. That means that we have to think hard about who should get it. Uh, we're going to have to think about the facilities that we have, hospital settings, daycare units, upskilling GP surgeries. We'd need some really careful messaging. We'd need to know exactly which patients would benefit, and we'd need to know how to refer them, what the system needs to do to provide this treatment. Logistically, it's, it's a very considerable challenge. That's okay because it's a challenge we should accept if we have a drug that works. Certainly research is coming on in leaps and bounds, so an effective treatment absolutely would be fantastic. But we need to see continued research and investment from across the board, and that's from organisations like ourselves at Alzheimer's Research UK, it's from governments and it's from the pharmaceutical industry.